breaking news. Not really breaking, it's actually kind of old, but it wasn't really that noticed in the subreddit or on Steam. Um, check this out. So, if you have a big city and city of skylines, you may notice that your money income kind of uh, goes up and goes down, and it just kind of, for no reason, you can't figure out why, it just kind of does this. Even though everything is doing great, you have plenty of productive, rich people paying all kinds of taxes, it doesn't matter, your money will go down. You have no control over it, and that's because there is a built-in mechanic in City Skylines that keeps you from making money. They have broken the game to keep you from making too much money. Um, I'm citing this Reddit post here. I will link it in the description below. It says, hey guys, I think this is an important thing from, that many players are not aware of. This is from uh, Raven Knox on the City Skylines subreddit. Uh, and he links a Steam article or Steam post on their forums about the same thing. And he says, I decided to test it myself. What I did is I built and bulldozed power plants to burn my money compared to two scenarios. When I had about 22 million, my weekly income was 10,000. Then I burned my money to less than a million and the weekly income raised to about 93,000. And he kept these in control, right? So basically the only variable is how much money is in his account in the game. And he says, I don't know if, how many of you are aware of this, but basically the game lowers the tax income as your funds grow, even if you don't change taxes at all. Here's the proof. And read him and weep. Right here on the left side, you will see that he has uh, 22 million in the bank, and he's only pulling in 28,000 from this light residential, or yeah, light density residential, and 16,000 from medium density residential, and so on and so forth. Then you look over here to where he has $897,000, and then you look at the income. 63,000 light residential, 36,000 high density residential. His income is 160,000 a month. Look at the difference between these. How, how is it so insane? The, like, I'm just looking at the difference. And so basically, um, you make twice as much money if you have not much money in the bank. Um, if you have upwards of over $20 million, there's no set number that I could find. Um, but basically, once you reach a certain point, like, as you make more money, you make less money, if that makes sense. So it's like, you have, it's like you're not higher tax bracket is what it's kind of like. Um, but basically, um, does this affect the gameplay? Not really, unless you're trying to get a hundred billion million dollars, then it's gonna be impossible. But um, if you are playing the game and you have a really big city and you see that you're losing money, don't panic. As long as you have at least a million in the bank, there is nothing to worry about. Now, if you have less than a million dollars in the bank and you're losing money, then something's horribly wrong and you should probably fix that. But uh, if not, it's probably just the balancing mechanics in this game. I'm not sure why or how they did this. I'm not sure I know how they put some modifier on the tax income. Uh, but why? I'm not totally sure. I guess it's to keep it from piling up too much. I mean, I guess it becomes pretty easy to fill out this number bar if you're able to make 200 grand every week. So anyways, I hope you found this interesting. I figured it'd be pretty, I've never heard of this before. Um, let me know below if you have any other things that nobody else has talked about like this. This is a pretty interesting, it's part of the game. The developers never told anybody about this. This is totally a community sourced uh, issue, or not issue, but like this thing. So anyways, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.